Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Skyblock Adventures. And in between episodes, I did a little bit of stuff. I built a platform out this way. This is going to be for our mob farm. And, uh, yeah, what else did I do? I processed some materials. I got some jazz here. Not a whole lot of stuff. Some more wood. Some more. I broke down some gravel, dust, and sand, just in case we need stuff on the fly. And, uh, yeah, we're going to set up a mob farm. And I think we're going to automate the sieves as well. And I forgot to eat before the video. I'm a derp. Uh, but yeah, the platform is just out here. It's going to be a pretty simple mob farm. I'm just going to do kind of a manual one at this point. Uh, I did make myself a stone sword here, so nothing spectacular there. Um, there has been a couple of the brutes mobs spawn in. They're like little animal, like vegetable looking things. And one of them actually dropped carrots <laughs> right here. Carrots. And uh, it was a little odd. But uh, anyway, we'll get to that. I'm sure we'll see more of that. Um, what do I need here? I'm going to need a whole bunch of wood. So let's get a whole bunch of wood. There we go. I did make an extra crafting table. I'll bring logs just in case. And uh, that should be enough to get us started. So over here, little platform. Nothing really big or special or fantastic or wonderful or anything like that. Just uh, just, just a little area, right? So um, I'm going to make it too wide. And I'm going to probably do it like this, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's kind of get it lined out. So I have a two space here. And I kind of, you know, designed this area based on it. So it's a matter. They go here. Uh, of getting everything in place. Let's go here. Bam. This is typically the mob farm I kind of build for Skyblock. It's the first one anyway. Before I get into something bigger. Uh, I'm going to want some slabs. You'll notice that it is half a, half a block down lower too. And that's on purpose. Just so my head sits at the right level. So the mobs don't see me as well. So I had to put down a bucket of water. Write it down. Put a slab under here. And then build out from there. So nothing really big or spectacular. But I get scared for a moment. And that's definitely a thing. Uh, let's go... Here, we're going to need some kind of, like, steps here, just so we get up and work. And this will be the spawn level of the mob, so I will kind of go like this, I guess, and here. Uh, to make this thing safer, because mine isn't 100% safe, you would make it one wide, okay? Uh, if you make it too wide, it is not 100% safe, but it's still pretty safe. And I just like it that way, because I get a lot more spawn platforms, and uh, that is pretty cool to me. So, anyway, it's going to go like that. I don't want slabs under here. These are for aesthetic, because, well, I don't want to see that jazz. <laughs> oh, I just messed things up. There we go. And that. And I'll have to get this area all lit up too, but I'll get that later. Um, From here, we're going to go three tall. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Counting with system. Just like that. <laughs> uh, don't do math in, in, in videos. That's a lot, of, a lot of people say, right? Uh, Anyway, let's go here. But sometimes in Minecraft, you just, you just need to count. And, uh, when you're trying to record, you got a microwave. A microwave. I, yes, I record with a microwave in front of my face. No, when you have a microphone in your face and you're looking at your screen, you're checking your sound levels, you're making sure nothing's horrible. You know what I mean? Everything's going right. Making sure everything's recording. It's easy to get distracted, and that's why so many of us derp so consistently. It, we can <laughs> consistently derp uh, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it is definitely like you're, you get a little, you get distracted easy, right? So anyway, we're just gonna make this three tall. It should not take very long at all. Go here, here, not even going to bother with a wand. By the time I go and make a wand, I'd be pretty much done, right? So, anyway, here we're going to slab the roof uh, just so bobs can't spawn up here, which is probably quite beneficial because uh, Quark is in here. I do not know how the Endermen are going to be in this pack because they could be one of three ways with Quark. Uh, the first way is, of course, vanilla, right? So, if they kind of disable their thing, they're just van uh, vanilla mobs. Um, then there's the old way, because you can. there's an old way that you can kind of configure it, where they teleport you to them. And that's a really nasty one. That is the worst one. <laughs> no one likes that one. Uh, but the new one's still pretty bad. So the newer setting, kind of, I think it's the default setting for Quark. The Enderman, um, they can break blocks. They can break blocks, even if they're blocks that are sent to, you know, disable mob griefing. They can still break those blocks. They can just come, they just come for you. <laughs> It, uh, it is pretty nasty. I think Modern Skyblock was like that, if I remember correctly. The way I dealt with it in the mob farm, though, there was... What the heck? Oh, that's a block. I thought it was a mob head or something. I was like, how'd that get in there? Uh, was putting trap doors on the side. I don't think they could break that. If it's an issue, I'll do that. Uh, the main thing I want right now is actually Ender Pearls, so kind of what I'm going for. But that is the mob farm right there. That should work pretty good. And I think everything's okay. Server backup done. Thank you very much for the server backup. Uh, anyway, I'm just making sure. 
Everything's cool. I may actually leave this right now and come back to it. Oh, there's one of those roots mobs. There he is. Gonna have to do something to deal with uh, passive mob spawning. But look at him. He's kind of cute. Look at this guy. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? They kind of remind me of my dog. They don't like being looked at. That's hilarious. <laughs> Why are you turning away, buddy? What is he? Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna deal with him. What's he drop? What's that? I have no idea what I just got. Anyway, he drops seeds. So they drop like plant materials, which is kind of cool. But uh, mobs should spawn over there now, and uh, we'll kind of leave that. Uh, the next thing we're gonna get to is probably automating these, which is pretty fantastic. And here, so we need to make these: the water meal, the auto sifter, and some of these axles. Uh, this is from Ex Nihilo Caritio. Yes, I put some weird accent on that. Um, you need to use this. You can use this to automate uh, regular sifters, which hasn't been a thing for a long, long time, since like 1.7. And uh, yeah, not too bad, but we do need two redstone for the pistons. So get redstone. We're going to need, I think, upgrade our meshes. So let's go here. Bam. Well, not all of them. Probably just do a couple. But we can get it from the iron stiffened mesh, your redstone. I'd also like to get some glowstone if we can. And uh, that is pretty cool. I'm going to keep looking over there. Hopefully see an Enderman, because uh, to do item collection um, for the sifting, I'm definitely going to want a Enderman, so, or an Ender Pearl. So let's take a look here. We're going to need to sift down. I think that was dust, right? I did do some kind of proactively. There we go. And uh, we'll have to make, I'll probably just make two iron stiffened meshes right now, because uh, they are a little expensive for me. Actually, you know what? Let's do three, because I have this as well. So let's actually get some of this getting smelted up. Or I should say pulverize down. There we go. Because that is enough for three of them, I guess. Uh, in themselves. I also made another furnace. So just so we can smell things. Because I really like these furnaces. Uh, anyway, let's go grab these meshes. They are pretty easy to upgrade. Just bam, bam. Just this and six iron. Pretty much good to go. And in time, we'll have to get the diamond ones as well. But uh, yeah, it is a thing. Let's go here, here. Bam, I don't even know why I bothered with the two stacks, to be honest. But there, iron, ironed, iron stiffened. And there we go. We got all three of those. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get these puppies on here. That's pretty cool. I would like to get at least four glowstone and uh, two redstone here. So we'll kind of, I think I've already got a redstone. Oh, no, that was blaze powder. But uh, anyway, we're just going to do this for a couple seconds here. Shouldn't take too long with three. I was only 5% chance, I think, on the redstone. And I saw that we got some glowstone there. Uh, but yeah, we'll be able to fully automate these, which is pretty cool. I just don't know if we can use kind of a signal to kind of turn it on and off. I haven't seen anyone do that yet, and I want to see if it's possible. So we got enough redstone, we got enough glowstone. Let's make the lamp first. There we go. Grab one of those. Let's go to uh, Feral Flare and see what we need here. That it was a couple gold. Let's grab two gold. And I think I have some glass. There we go. And uh, let's make one of these. Bam. Grab this. Fantastic. And this is from, what is it from? What mod mod is that from? Torchmaster. There you go. These things are fantastic. So if you actually read a little right up there, slowly illuminates a large area. Removing the lantern causes the lights to slowly decay. So pretty cool. And uh, we're going to take this and probably put the first one right up here to kind of light up our main area. And, uh, I should start, I'm like right now, if I break that, we should start seeing these X's disappear. I'm going to leave that there for a few minutes. Oh, <laughs> they're already gone. Because uh, it should be able to cover all this area. So it'll kind of slowly, there you go, it's, it's spread out a little more. And it should get that far as well. So yeah, because it is 16 blocks. But it's going to make it so I can get rid of a lot of these torches, which is uh, something I'm really, you know, <laughs> hyped to do because... Torch spam never looks good. Never. Never. I mean, you have to do it in vanilla, but there's nothing you can really do about that. Let's grab a bunch of this and kind of look at what we need to craft here. So what we need to craft... Oh, I also made a sword. Like I said, it's just stone uh, tool rod, stone wide guard, and... No, sorry. Wood wood wide guard, wood uh, rod, and uh, stone uh, blade. So all I'm doing now, um, I'm not going to rush Tinker, so uh, I'm going to have to get to it pretty soon, sadly. But anyway, let's go do... Uh, X Nahilo. Let's go here. And kind of take a look here. Uh, I forgot about these dolls. You can actually use these in barrels to spawn mobs in. I think that one spawns in a blaze. Creeping. Creeping might be the... Uh, that might be an Enderman. 
I don't know what a floating is, and a protection, I think, is a guardian. So you can kind of get materials that you wouldn't normally... I can't remember what a floating is, though. No idea. Anyway, let's go to uh, X Hello. Let's make... Let's work towards the auto sifter. Let's grab our redstone. I need two of those. And some of that iron. There we go. Let's go... Guess here, and get that smelted up, too. Just to get it done. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of these stone axles, and uh, they need, need these stone rods. Let's actually make 64, because well, we're gonna need a bunch. I guess we'd be two stacks of 64, but that's fine. Let's go here. Let's make a whole bunch of these stone gears as well, because you go through a bunch of those. And it's just stone. I mean, we've got stone out the yin yang. As I use it, more comes in. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, stone axles. I don't think we need many of these. I'm probably. I think we need one for each water wheel as well. Let's make five water wheels. That looks good, right? Do we need one for this? Yes, if so, we'll make one more. So we'll make one for the sifter, five for the water wheels, and then one more to kind of extend it. Let's do that, because I think you need one extra. Let's grab some of this. We're gonna need some sticks here. Uh, sticks, we probably have technology for sticks, so let's do this. Go, probably don't need that gear there. There we go, got lots of sticks. And we probably need these pistons as well, so let's make two of those. And we just need some hoppers, I guess. Oh, there's this recipe too. I think this is a, a quark recipe, where it kind of makes the recipes easier in as much that you don't have to do the step where you make the chest, even though it still takes eight wood. I think it does like the same things with repeaters and stuff like that, which is pretty neat, especially for later on for automation and stuff. Uh, I think we need two. Is it two hoppers? Because if it's two, we need three. Let's make three. There we go. Because we need one to actually feed the machine as well. There we go. Uh, let's not do that. And there's three of those. And we should be able to make this auto sifter now. There is a grinder, but it's work in progress. And it doesn't do anything yet. It says it right on it. So that's kind of something that's coming, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's get the sand out. Actually, if we break this, do we get our sand back? I'm curious. You do not. Okay. <laughs> not a big deal. I just got a curious. I guess it was dust anyway. I was calling it sand. Let's put, I guess you right here. Oh, it doesn't matter which way it faces. This axle is kind of important. So let's actually face it the other way because I'm going to run some axles probably off this kind of platform. Kind of like that. Then we're going to grab, I guess our hopper. This is going to be for feeding items into it. So we're just going to put that right there. Then we're going to grab all our sieves. And our sieves, they're just ooh, not going to go there. Boom. If I set one on top, kind of see it connect. There we go. If I add more, it just multi-blocks. So this is just turning it into, you know, some kind of weird freakish multi-block, which is cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we're going to need to cut more axles the way I'm doing it. So let's do that. I think all we have to do now, actually, I'm going to break this just so I can see it here really quick. We go is run axles off this so we'll kind of come out here apparently they do care how they're placed so that is definitely something to be aware of go like you that just jump up here and hopefully oh, it doesn't want to go there we go and i can set this up cleaner later on and okay that is kind of the start of it we're gonna have to, I'm gonna run it off the side a little bit just so it's not completely in the way for right now. Uh, we need some slabs, I guess, to just build stuff. So let's come out here and uh, get these water wheels on here. And then we're gonna have to get some water, right? So definitely something we're gonna do. But uh, we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna grab the actual water wheels and uh, we're gonna connect them just like that. They need to be connected to the axle, which is pretty cool. I believe the more you of these you have, um, the faster they go. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that as well at this point. I honestly don't know how long we'll be using these things. <laughs> we'll be in the power before too long. And uh, that is cool. Uh, let's make this. So I just want to control the flow of the water right now. So let's do that. And kind of like this. And that. there we go. And then I think if we grab a bucket of water. So let's try it. Let's grab a bucket. And throw this right. Well, I guess we'll need that one gone. Get rid of you. So you'll stop the flow of the water. Boom. Yes, the wheels start spinning. That is exactly what we want to see. And the shaker starts shaking. So let's actually get some more water here. And uh, get the rest of these working. Just to see how this works. Because that, that is actually really cool. <laughs> Things doing a little dance here. I don't know if we can turn this off is the only thing. 
I mean, I could break the axle, I guess, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if it reacts to over its own signal. I'm honestly not sure. Let's go here. Let's head over there. And there you go. Pretty awesome. Let's not go through the water. <laughs> and fall to her death. I guess I could go under there and add slabs and kind of cap off that water. But uh, Maybe I won't do that this second. I do want to try this out, though. So we do have this hopper here. It's kind of set up. Let's go here. Let's throw that in there. I think... Oh, we haven't put the meshes in. It's not going to be able to feed the items in. Do I see an Enderman over there or not? I don't think so. I don't know what that one in the corner is. Lots of creeper. I'm really still waiting for that Enderman, because I need it for item collection very badly. Uh, we need our meshes, so let's grab those. There we go. Bam. Let's go here, here, and get these in place. And the second I put these in place, I think it's going to start getting the items. So let's go there. Bam. Bam. Yeah, it's getting dust. That is cool. And I think that's going to sift. Like I said, the more of those water wheels you have, I think it goes faster and faster and faster, which is pretty awesome. Actually, I really think this is a pretty neat mechanic because uh, you haven't been able to automate these for a long time. You used to be able to do it, I think it was with Autonomous Users back in 1.7. and haven't been able to do it for quite a while. Kind of disabled it, never let people do it again. So there's an in inventory in here. You kind of see the dust inside the block, So, but you can't actually access the inventory. So that is definitely something, something I'm thinking about, though. Let's see a lever. Let's try making a lever here. Boom. Oh, we'll need some sticks. I have sticks right there. We have everything that we need. I just want to see if there's a way to uh, turn this off. Uh, I hope it's not underneath, because, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. There we go. You can see here, just throwing items in there, into the world. Uh, I'd like to sort that out, but uh, one thing that would definitely work is putting a lock on the hopper. And I may have to do that. I think that'll make it so the hopper can't pick up items. Or I could use a filtered hopper, I suppose, to kind of stop that. But uh, if I was running things through here and I threw this lever, it would lock the hopper and not be able to feed any more items. So that, I guess that's one way to control it. Um, but uh, let's see here. Can I turn off the axles? Does that work? Just thinking it'd be this or I guess the water wheel. I can't see us being able to turn off the water wheel. Yeah, nothing there. Anyway, that went through that actually relatively quick. And uh, sieved that down. So that is actually... Pretty cool. Of course, item collection is a mess right now, so would like to do something about that. Let's go over here and uh, see if we get an Enderman. If not, I may do a little cut and wait till one or two spawn. Let's see if we get things. I actually want to go with this guy, see if he drops armor. Because the mechanism mods, if it's on its default setting, drop ar armor like on a very, very regular basis. This armor is actually really good. Got a heart. What's that going to do? Let's see here. Heart. Red heart. Let me guess. Canisters? Yeah. Bobbly heart canisters. That's pretty cool. Relic apple. Eh, not too bad. Be able to increase our health. There we go. Might as well fight a couple of these. See if we can get ourselves a bag. I already got one. Which is pretty cool. And it's spawning more of those in. I don't know what they are. But I was able to pick it up earlier. Is he going to drop one too? <laughs> That's one mob I don't care for, especially for mob farms. It's uh, those guys. Uh, we are getting loot bags though. That is cool. I'm okay with that. So, I can't seem to pick these up from here, which is unfortunate. Huh. I may have to build kind of a little entryway into here. Maybe something. Well, I'll, fix, I'll clean it up later. The main thing is just to be able to get in. Let's go just there. Hope this stops because, like, I can pick that up. It's saying acquired down on the bottom left. I'm not sure what mod does that. So, if someone knows what mod that is, let me know. Because, uh, that could really gum up a mob farm, like, insanely. Like, if they're, I guess I'll leave them. I'll see if they despawn. If they despawn normally, then it's not an issue. But, uh, if they don't, it is. Uh, we can start breaking some of these torches too down to that lamp south there for a bit. It should be at its max range. So, yeah. Should be able to do a 16 by 16. Like, look at that. Look at that nice big area. Getting rid of all the need of torches. And uh, we'll be replacing with them. And uh, yeah, no spawn spots at all. So you can see that is a pretty big area there. So 
not just one lamp, and just getting rid of torches all willy-nilly. And uh, let's make our stone barrel here. Let's uh, get you off the barn because we are going to need the rest of the stone. And uh, I guess let's grab you. Go here, make a stone barrel. Bam. Probably just going to put this in the floor right now because it's actually easier. Let's go right there. Do that. And let's grab a bucket. Grab a bucket of lava. I should be able to grab a bucket of water. And I can't remember if we can just directly use this, but uh, let's do this. Because this is probably the safer way. And uh, do that. And there we go. We got ourselves a obsidian. And uh, I'm going to have to do that three times. There we go. And fantastic. Look at that. Three obsidian. Already got that. The only thing we really need now for the absorption hopper, I believe. Uh, let's do hopper. <laughs> Hubber was, uh, yeah, that. So, uh, that. And the enderpearl. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is probably cut, like I said before, and uh, wait for an enderman. Once we have an enderman, I'll come back, and uh, we'll get on moving. And okay, I'm back. I finally got myself an enderpearl. I've been over here at the mob farm. I also did, I broke down some materials, some other jazz, but there are two more endermen here. I just figured I'd give them a go. Uh, <laughs> every time I see an enderman, I'll probably be over here. And, uh, getting this done, because, well, that is beneficial. There's one there. Hopefully we get another one. Um, I noticed two cyberware uh, items are dropping out of the mob farm, or I guess from the mobs. It'd be from the zombies, I suppose. Um, I'm actually wearing two pieces of it, just because it looked neat. Where did the enderman go? I need him. I need to be careful around this corner. That's kind of where they see him most of the time. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be working in here. I have had to go in there a couple times and collect those uh, floaty things, so I don't know what that's about at all. Ooh, another ender pearl. But uh, pretty cool. Give me that. Do not blow up. You. I want you gone really quick. Because I heard the sizz and I heard a bow. And that's a bad thing. Probably done over here. Anyway. <laughs> I've been doing that enough. Oh, there's another uh, battery. That is from, again, from uh, Cyberware. So we'll be able to deck ourselves out. I'm wearing a trench coat right now. And, uh, I think I look pretty dapper. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, look at me. I just I look. Totally, totally just hardcore. Look at me. Trench coat. Got the, got the glasses on. Got the sword. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Notice this too. There's uh, red hearts. Uh, these are for the bobble. They're heart canisters, which is pretty cool. And I also found this kind of in my uh, travels. Came from one of the bags there, loot bags. I actually got, a, I think it was an epic one. And I got the antidote charm. And uh, auto cure poison and wither. Right click to toggle on. So fighting withers, that'd be amazing. So maybe I'll have a use later on. Although I don't usually fight them hands on, I am not that brave. I uh, got some mana steel. What is that? Ender orb, reusable ender pearl that carries you. I've used this thing before. Uh, I'm not going to use it right now because I don't know how it's going to interact with slabs. Uh, swapping wand, pretty cool. Dying knight, that thing's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using that same strength as ender crystal, so it's actually quite powerful. And uh, let's see those. Oh, this is here more obsidian. So we we made three obsidian and found three obsidian. So that is pretty cool. And uh, we got everything we need here, so let's make a eye of ender. Let's do this. Bam. Let's go here. Let's, uh, oh, I needed that. I had that set up because I knew I needed a chest, then got distracted because I saw that there are endermen in there. Let's go here. Let's grab that and that. There's our eye of, uh, eye of ender and uh, absorption hopper. Should be able to go. Oh, yeah, we needed obsidian, right? Not obsidian. <laughs> Iron to make a hopper. And uh, I could do it with a chest, or I could do it with two logs. I'll probably do it with two logs. There you go, so I can keep that chest. I do need an inventory to kind of pipe things into. So, oh, hopper ducks are in here, too. I didn't notice that until right now. There's so many mods in here that I just keep going, ooh, that one, ooh, that one. <laughs> anyway, let's grab, uh, no, let's not do that one. This one here. Let's grab our battery. That's pretty cool. And uh, I guess we just need to make the actual hopper. There we go, absorption of hopper, and this is the mob grinding utilities one, isn't it? Yes, and this one's open blocks. The open block one, it needs to actually move the items, so it's actually a vacuum. So it's called the vacuum hopper, and that's how it is. Uh, while I was waiting to, I also cleaned this up. I don't know if it needs more buckets, but it seems to be going about the same speed, like this. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, actually, this last one's moving slower, I think, isn't it? It is, so maybe that doesn't work the way I was hoping. Uh, but the main thing I was doing was I went down, I rode the water down, and I put the slab all across, then slab all underneath it, 
just so I can keep the water there and it's not flowing all over the place. But uh, if that's going to make it go slower, I'm definitely going to speed that up. There we go. And I may add more of these, although it seems to go at a pretty set, pretty decent pace, I should say. Um, didn't seem too bad at all. So I'm not really concerned about that. I need to stop doing that with my water. I need a saw so I can make the uh, kind of little slab thingies, little panels, I guess, to kind of block that in. But there we go. Everything, that last one's still moving slower. Maybe it's because it's just further down the axle? Maybe that's how it works. I wonder if that is how it works. Anyway, not going to worry about that. Uh, let's set this up real quick uh, for auto item collection. Should only take a second. Let's go here. Let's grab a absorption hopper. Throw it right there. I'm going to set up to item. There we go. So it's going to send the items up, and we're just going to set a chest on this. And uh, after that point, boom, I got a lever here. And uh, that there, I should be able to turn that on, unlock the hopper. It's going to start pumping the gravel. It should start getting sieved. And the items, when they actually go through the sieve, should get pulled into the chest. And uh, that pretty much automates that. You know what I mean? So that is actually a pretty clean, easy way. We're just going to make sure no items kind of fly all over the place and out of range. But even then, it would just be a matter of another absorption of hopper. And, uh, looks like it's pricking it up pretty good. Look at it go. Look at it go. Getting the stuff in the things. And, uh, that's awesome, because now, I mean, I don't even have to sieve anymore. I just need to break down items with my hammer and uh, <laughs> feed it into here and call it a day, right? Uh, I probably need to switch this over to a crate at some point. Probably be a much better idea. It looks like pretty standard recipe, so not even a big deal. So that is fantastic. We have automated uh, the sieve, and uh, we have a bomb farm now, which we will, you know, work on a lot more. I will want to get... Bikes integrated in there. I also wanted to, what was it, the tether? The tether was the main thing that was holding me back, right? Tether, bam. Yeah, I need wither dust, so I need a way to get wither dust to make the tether because uh, when endermen start taking damage from sources like spikes and stuff, a lot of time they like to teleport around and uh, this will stop that, right? So yeah, we'll figure that out. Maybe have to look at those dolls, so the dolls. Yeah, I think it's the creeping doll. I think it's this one. I think that one will spawn Actually, maybe not. That might be Enderman. I'm going to have to look up these dolls. Because I think one of them can go, uh, spam, span? No. Spawn a uh, Wither Skeleton. I'm hoping one can. Maybe it's the Floating Doll? No, that's going to be a Shulker. That's going to be a Blaze. That's going to be the Guardian. I think this is an Enderman, so maybe there isn't a way to do a Wither Skeleton, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.